getting started with your Brightspace ePortfolio. To access your ePortfolio in Brightspace, simply go to Module Tools on the top navigation bar, down to ePortfolio and click into it. That will open this window and the first thing you want to do is to create a new collection. Within this collection, you'll be able to organize your reflections, your files, and it will make sharing with your tutor easier when that is required. We advise that you give each new collection the module code in the title and that you give it a label that makes sense. So the assignment title, for example, here, learning portfolio. You can give the description if you wish beneath that and beneath that again, you can tag your collection. So we advise again that you use the module code so that you can simply search for anything connected to this particular module and then that you give it other tags that make sense for you. So learning, portfolio, maybe the subject name, Irish studies, um, just so that you can find things easier um, in future. If you are submitting a multi-word tag, like Irish studies, which has two words in it, um, you have to put inverted commas around the two words, otherwise it will take them as two separate words, Irish and studies. Once you're happy with your tags, simply click save and close and your collection will be created. From this page, you want to navigate back to my items so that you can start to create items and add them to your collection. Once you're in my items, click on the blue add button and you'll get this drop down list of different file types that you could add. What we're advising for this particular case is that you click on reflections because that allows you to add text entries because um, we don't want you to upload um, files for this particular um, assignment. So when you're setting up your new reflection, you should again give it the module code in the title, give it the assignment title, and then number it according to what week or what uh, number it is in the series. So this might be the reflection of week on week one. You might have reflection two, three, four, five, all the way up to reflection 12 if you have to do weekly reflections. Beneath that, you can type in your reflection directly into the box, or you can copy it in from an external file, um, like a Word file, but please do not attach a file. Once the item is created, you can then add it to a collection by clicking on the blue arrow next to it and then clicking on Add to Collection. Once you do that, it will bring up this window and you can simply put a tick in the box beside the collection you want to add the item to and then click Add. Once you do that, your item will be added to the collection and then once you share the collection with somebody else, they'll be able to see all of the items contained therein.